Meanwhile, at the Fees Commission sitting in Pretoria, the Department of Basic Education painted a very bleak picture. It says not many of the matriculants are ready for university and end up dropping out. Unable to pay back their loans, particularly those on the loan scheme, Enesfas is costing the state. Basic Education making its submission to the Fees Commission. It painted a gloomy picture over the quality of matriculants. Only 60% of the country's youth complete grade 12. However, just 20% qualify for universities. Yes, in the, 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 the basic education sector is to some extent uh, to blame. It's, it's not a secret. It's, it's, it's widely acknowledged in the, in the National Development Plan. A lot of researchers uh, are very clear on, on the fact that, that our performance is still low. We have a lot of youths completing grade 12, but not completing grade 12 well enough with the kinds of qualifications that they should have. And that, that clearly puts a constraint on, uh, on, 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 on the higher education sector. The department also advised the commission to consider its no-fee schooling system when developing its recommendation for the higher education sector. Also making its submission, the Democratic Alliance Student Organization. Dasso says it has zero confidence in the commission. We hope that there will be good recommendations, but even if there are good recommendations and workable recommendations that come out of the commission, if they are not reporting by the end of this year, it's going to be too late for it to be included in the budgeting process next year. So July next year is too late. The commission was appointed by President Zuma to look into the feasibility of free higher education and training. The commission is expected to make its final recommendations by mid next year. Sipo Stirman, SABC News in Pretoria.